Hello, hi ladies. Oh, it's another exciting time. Again, this is Bro Innocent, your host. I welcome you today um, for a wonderful show, today's episode. It's a wonderful time. It's a wonderful time. It's a wonderful time. I'm always excited meeting you, discussing this um, wonderful subject with you. Because, you see, it is God's intent for you to settle down this year. And God wants you to settle down. Yes, I mean he wants you. And I'm excited. As I said earlier, I like to be part of the Ashebi. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm already rejoicing for you. Because it's, it is your right as a child of God. Now, see. In our last episode, I raised the question, if you have a date and this particular date is just one date that will determine if that guy will propose to you. If you are a lady, how would you appear? And if you are a guy, how would you appear? What will your outlook look like? You know, it's an amazing question. Some have uh, tried to respond to me. And again, I like I always say, do write to me your answers, your thoughts. I want to see it in the comments. I want to hear your responses. I also want to hear your prayer, see your prayer requests, because I want to take them to the place of the altar and pray with you. Because it is God's intent, God's intention, God's will for you to get married. That's why he sent me on your way. And that's why he shared these wonderful thoughts, these wisdom steps with me, so that you too can as well you know, we get married. Now, i like you to understand this is very critical, it's very important. How would you appear? How would you appear? Remember, your appearance, your total outlook is a form of communication. It is saying something to the next person. It's either saying to them that you are ready or it tells them another thing. Remember what we had discussed in our last episode. It can give absolutely an image of you that is not right that is wrong it can distort the picture you must understand that it is critically important that you do understand that that how you dress can distort the image that someone has about you concerning you you know it's a proven fact it's a very interesting thing that you understand that the moment you dress up you give some other person a picture of you you are saying something without speaking words because dressing is a form of communication. Remember, it's your entire outlook from your hairdo to the shoes, the things you wear, and all of that. Your makeup, all of all those things is uh, critically important. Now, today, uh, because, uh, you know, the question I raised, remember, again, we had said that, uh, you know, when at all times, someone is observing you. Someone is observing you. Someone is looking at you. Either to propose or to recommend. Remember when Boaz had that discussion with uh, his men concerning Ruth. The moment that discussion finished, he went further to engage Ruth and opened up a conversation. As I said, someone is coming to you. Always know that they are talking about you. There is a form of gossip concerning you in town. Whether you like it or not, whether you know it or you don't. But let it be that they talk positive concerning you. And that's the whole entire issue of you dressing smartly, dressing elegantly, and being at your best at all times. You know why? Because it gives people a positive image about you. So that what they will discuss will be positive. So that when they discuss that, it will create an image, an impression. It will give someone a good perspective of you. And in that way, they can come looking for you. Now, this is very important. Today, I want to continue on what we had discussed earlier. And that is critically important. Remember, in our earlier discourse, we've talked about, you know, what dressing communicates as giving an image making. We've talked about as it communicates glory in terms of course, in, stand, in terms of class and organization, articulation. But we also have talked about, you know, self-awareness. That when you dress up, it is a powerful thing. It shows, you know, your intellectual devo development because you are aware of yourself. In other words, you know what fits you, what suits you, what you're comfortable with. But much more than that, you know what is also, you know, your sense of style, what you just, you know, what enhances you the best, your beauty the best, what brings out that wonderful thing God has done in your life. This is very important. And today I want to continue on that by discussing today one of the key things that dressing does in your life. And that is very powerful. That is very important. I am talking about 
it creates social you know it gives us the picture of your level of social awareness when you dress up when you dress up it gives us a picture of a wonderful social awareness you see there are a lot of people that doesn't understand what exactly that is needed at a given point in time most importantly what is the trend what is in vogue the trend the things that is the thing that is happening because you see you need you are not just isolated by yourself alone you're not just in your own world no as much as we talk about creating a world but then it's important that you also know what is going on what is obtainable what is happening around you now this is very important in most you know a lot of people need to get this so you have to be aware socially you have to be properly aware a lot of people don't know what is obtainable socially they don't know what fits them what is a social thing what is going on the trend how things are happening the, the evolving in fashion and these are critically important someone will look at you and know that you're totally not in step with the trend of things because um i, I didn't want to use a word that wouldn't be nice but i think that it'd be a better way to say it that way that you are not in step with what is the trend you're not aware and, and that tells us that means you are not properly informed in other words, your level of social awareness. Because to be a socially misfit person is a very, very terrible. It turns guys off and it turns ladies off. Because I don't want this to sound like I see it's a man's word, women are the one. No, no, no. You see, in either way. Because, in, you know, just imagine um, going for a wedding and a lady is putting on what a party dress. You know, that's a whole total stuff, you know, nonsense. Anybody that sees you will, in fact, will feel disgusted, will feel, what kind who sticks? Why is this lady from? Why is this guy from? You understand? Nobody will talk to you about that because you're totally a misfit. And you don't have to be that. And you see, you can get the people, get the fashion news, get the fashion mag magazine, see what is going on. Open up your eyes. When you go for a location, when you go for a function rather, when you're in an environment, open up your eyes. Make observations. See what is going on. Sometimes, Take the freedom and liberty to ask questions. One who asks doesn't get lost. There's no, no, there's no harm in about it. You're not going to pay for some time. You know, sometimes you may not pay. I understand these times now you pay for every information given to you. But then again, it could be a small money. Go to the internet, Google it, talk for, look for tips that will tell you how to put yourself, how to, you know, make up all of those things. Know what is going on this time. We are in an age that there's a whole lot of information. Get to be aware what is the trend. Get to be aware how to dress. Get to be aware your outlook. See what is going on. That's a total evolution. Total evolution of, of, of fashion, of dressing, of appearance. People are coming up with an innovative, wonderful way to enhance their beauty. Most important, not just innovative, but what is with the trend? What is going on? You've got to catch up with your time. You don't have to live in the 20th century. We are in the 21st. I tell you, yeah, it's important. And either will you go back to the 19th century. If that is your style, then you have to modernize it. You have to make it in a way that is going to fit you. It's critically important. This is very nice. It's very wonderful. You've got to be aware what is in the trend, what is in the vogue. Now, this is very, very critically important is that you have to do that. Um, again, the second thing i like you to... i like to you know talk about is not just being aware of what is the trend but also what events require what events require now the first point is being aware what is the trend what is in town what is in vogue what is going on you just have to be aware but secondly you also have to be aware of what is required in any particular event and so your closet and the way you look doesn't have to just be any no no you have to carefully and intentionally prepare yourself dress you know um, i wouldn't say take care of your outlook because it's critically important you cannot be going for a wedding and you are in an outfit that is just for work you cannot go for a work monday tuesday and you're in an outfit that is for traditional You've got to be aware. Each event requires a certain thing. Each event requires a certain way of dressing. This is important. You know why? One of the things I want you to understand is that this reveals your mental development. It reveals your development, your awareness. It's critically important that you know this. Because you see, a lot of people are just short in their word. They are just there. No, that's not it. Because you see, you, man is a social being. You need to understand that. You know why? When a man sees a lady, for instance, 
okay, and, and is looking at you, and he, he can't see this this level of awareness, this level of social development, this level of you know um, awareness. I like to say, do you know what the person when he's thinking about social function, when the person is thinking about going off one event, they will start feeling you know ashamed. They start feeling uh, um. They'll be at odds going out with you. And that's why some men look for the classy ladies to go for political meetings, to go for certain meetings and all that, to go for wedding and functions. Look for. You might be there, say. If I, in fact, sometimes some men who are married, even we go with their marriage, with their sister's um, wife's sister, who is more trendy, so to say, and go out with them. Because their wife refuses to be socially, you know, you know, kind of develop, wisen up. And it's a very terrible thing. So you need to know what event requires. Any event, events, dinner party has, there is a dinner party clothes and you've got to dress accordingly. You know, there are clothes, when you're going for a cocktail meeting, a cocktail party, it's totally different. What you're going to wear is not exactly what you're going to wear for a club. Are you getting what I'm saying? All these things are different. And this this with a kind of you see, as you begin to rise in a society, you're going to be involved one day, one way or the other, get involved in this kind of meeting, you know, parties or events and all that stuff. And so you need to know all of these things. So you can begin to put yourself together. So when you're going for such a meeting, perhaps you're a single and you're in that place, and someone looks at you, and the person we know that this person at least is trending, this person knows what is in town, what is happening, what is in vogue. It has a way to, you know, get people to start smiling at you and start looking at you. Remember, how you dress gives people a perspective of you. The way you dress can attract someone to make you be, you know, you know, open up a conversation. It can also shut doors. It can open up opportunities. People can start a, a conversation with you just by the, the perfume you, you're wearing. You wear perfume that is wonderful. And somebody says, wow, I like this. And that's how they started. How are you? This conversation starts from there because you know what is in vogue. You also know what is happening. You know what this event requires and you are there. This is very important. It tells us a whole lot. Now, this is very key for one because again, it's very key. Very, very key. This particular one is very key. You know why? Because we are social beings. A lot of people meet people at events, at functions, you know, parties, weddings, you know, um, maybe whether white wedding, traditional wedding, receptions, all that kinds of events, you know, different gatherings, different rallies. And people don't just come for things. They also come to, you know, bonds. They also come to network. They also come to socialize. And there are certain things that will catch the eye and someone will begin to want to talk to you now remember if you give a negative impression they are going to interpret you from that way and they're going to come to you along that line now we'll be talking about this in maybe subsequent episodes but i just want you to get this point because it is critically important remember what we are talking about is how to settle down so your social event social functions is critically important Go take our time to go to events. Remember one of the first principles we studied is the principle of place, the principle of positioning. One has to see you before they propose. And you've got to be in a place. And where you are can determine who talks to you. Now, this put these two principles together. It means, one, you've got to take our time to go to social events. You've got to go to social functions. You've got to go to parties. You've got to go to, you know, weddings and all that. Take that, you know, take the opportunity. If a friend is wedding, you know, someone friends is wedding and you know the person, go, just go. Give yourself a leisure. Just go there. Go out. You probably will see someone. Don't stay indoors and be praying and fasting. Someone has to see you. They might not have the spirit of God to see vision, to know if you are there. They probably need to see with your eyes. Yeah, oh no, you didn't understand what I said. This is critically important. Yeah, 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 very important. Very, very important. One has to see. Did you remember what happened in one of those times? The scripture says that, you know, the queen of Sheba came to see Solomon. And, and one of the most amazing things that happened, after Solomon had answered the Queen of Sheba's question. The scripture said, Queen of Sheba observed the attendance of Solomon at the table, their retinue, their attire, their outlook and dressing. And the Bible says she was, she fainted, she was overwhelmed. 
You see, it's a very critical thing. It's a very important thing. People would want to see how you dress and the kind of dress you are putting on. Your entire outlook in a particular event is very important. It's very important. Take out time and be in events. People do not just come to events just for that event alone. Some people are searching and they are looking. Remember, for instance, if a man wants to marry, there is a picture that is in his head, that is in his mind. Once he connects with that picture with you, then he is coming. Yeah, someone is coming. It's very important. Very, very important. You know, I like to talk about dressing purposefully. Dressing purposefully. It's a very, it's a very simple but very insightful thing. Dressing purposefully. When you talk about this, we talk about, we talk about what you do and what it requires. Where you are going. Now, this is very important. Now, this is very important. Dressing purposefully. What you do and what it requires. You see, you need to understand that for every profession, there is what? You've got to be careful. You've got to be um, intentional in your dressing. That's the point I want you to see. Intentional. You've got to have a goal in mind. There's a place you're going and you've got to dress accordingly. It, it, is, it is important. Very, very important. Very important. You see, um, if you see a lawyer, you know, easy to know, the dress intentional because of their profession, because of what they do. You've got to be purposeful. You've got to be intentional in what you're doing. You are dressing for a reason, and that reason has to be positive. That reason, you have to take cognizance of what you want and dress accordingly. This is important. This is important. You cannot be a single and all the time you're dressing like a married woman. Most guys are confused about you, and that's why they're not talking. Because when they look at you, look at the way you are, you all the time lacking all those, uh, you are already married in their mind. They don't, it doesn't connect. And that's why you're single. And worst of it all, if you have allowed your weight to move and then they think, confirm it completely that you are married. This is critically important. Most ladies are that way. You know, you may say, oh, some men still like it. Yes, but even if they like it, play, let it be plenty in their house. This is important. When you go and wear the married men clothes, married women clothes, you are a guy, you are already a single man. You are allowing your tummy to shoot out. Go in six pack, where did he go? Go and gym up. Go and, you know, these things are important. Very critically important. Well, I'm giving you a costly advice. I don't know. It's a very, very costly one. Again, be purposeful. Be intentional. Don't just dress up. Dress with an intent. Dress with a vision. Dress knowing you are going somewhere. It is important. That will help you to organize your closet. That will help you to organize your closet. That will help you to organize your collections of all of these things. So that you just have to. You see, now, the important point is this. For those who think, who take time to think, it tells us what you do on your inside. It tells you how much developed you are in your mind. It tells us how aware you are about life and things. It tells us how you make decisions. It, tell, it reveals a whole lot about your person. If you are one who dresses intentionally. Are you, are, you here? are you here? Are you listening to me? I'm, I'm talking to you. It's important. I hope you got what I just said because it is for your good. Something is about happening to you. Remember, God is bringing someone to you. You know when the Bible says, when the scripture says, yeah, um, a man that finded a good wife. You see, they have to find. But when they see you and see you wrongly, they're not going to find you. You need to get it right. Someone has to find you. And for them to find you, if they see you, then if you're not right, they're not going to look your direction. If they didn't see you, then you are still the one losing. I'm telling you now. Very important. Very. And if you are a guy, I just mentioned it, and you just dress carelessly, dress just, you know, tatterly, just haggardly, you know, you allow your, t your shirts are never properly iron. Things are just come. No serious-minded girl will take you. I'm just, the moment you say, hello, hello, they look at you, they're off. They're on their way. Because to them, you are just going to be a disaster to their life. It's important. Now, you might be a nice person, a wonderful person on your inside. Have a good life. Could even be a, you know, a born-again, spirit-filled. I'm telling you, most born-again are still there. Spirit-filled. They think it's about speaking in tongues. Let me tell you, there is only God that sees the heart. It is here we see with the eyes. First Samuel chapter 16 is very critically important. When the scripture said, and God sent Samuel to the house of David, the Bible said immediately Samuel saw Eliab. He said, muscular, six-pack. Tall, 
Wonderful. The scripture said immediately, Samuel said, mm -hmm, this is the one. God said, no, I see the heart. You see, many see the heart, physical outlook. God see the heart. You are not God. You are a man. You need to see. Now, you have to help those who see you to know that you are serious. Oh, he didn't hear me. He didn't hear me. He said, oh, but man of God, this can be deceptive because if you do like this, you are not appearing at your end. No, that's foolishness. You have to be wise. I'm not talking to those who want to be deceptive. I'm talking about God's children who have to help themselves. Now, you don't need to help God. You just need to be at best. And that's why God is giving you the wisdom steps. These are God's word. These are God's word. Let me say it again. This is God's wisdom. What I'm sharing with you is from the living word. Remember when Esther went to go and see King Hazarus, um, uh, was she just anything, anything goes, anything goes. You know, it was a meeting with a king. She has to appear at her best. She has to appear in a manner that King Hazarus will put that crown on her head. Let me, you know, wind up with this very concluding thought based on the last question I asked last time. Remember, this lady had one opportunity. You know, now we have programs that people have turned around and said, one night with the king. You know, that's beautiful. If you have one outing, one date, just once, you are going out for a date with a guy, how would you appear? That is the point. Remember how Esther appeared? She must have come at her best. Now, hold on a second. What is it that the king saw that she did not see in other ladies? First question. Remember, you may not say, ah, because Esther was the most beautiful. No. The scripture said, all the ladies that were in the harem were what? Beautiful. That's the first criterion for you to qualify to come to that place. That's number one. Queen Vashti in Esther chapter one, that the king deposed, the king, you know, you know, divorced, was beautiful, the scripture said. So it's not beauty that the king is looking for. Number two, could it be, or would it be that the king was looking for, um, some form of a lady to sleep with, the one that is the most wonderful at bed. No, that king must have a demon inside him to be sleeping with all these ladies for every day, every day, every day for some months. Something is not possible. That's not what he's looking for. And the Bible never indicated that Vashti was not good at that. No, it's not that one too. So we have it at that. And if the king wants women, he can take as many women. It's not like now. That we have to go and write on social media and publicize that this man is fooling around with. In those days, the king does what they want. Take, in fact, you will even be happy that the king called you to, to, to take you and you're the king's concubine. At least that puts you in a class of royalty. Now, so it must not, it wasn't to sleep with someone. It wasn't sex issue. No. Now, what is it that the king is looking for in a queen, in a lady that the king will say, this is my queen? There must be something that we get the attention of, of this king. That he will say, oh wow, this one now is my queen. There must be something. It mustn't just be, you know, you are beautiful because they, of course they were all beautiful. It mustn't be also that it is this they are looking for. No, 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 no. It's not going one who is good at bed. No, no, no. That's also because we have shown that it's not exactly what the king was looking for. Now, what exactly? You know, you see, when you think about kings, when you think about what happened, why the king abandoned Vashti, his first wife, you will realize there is something the king will be looking for. In Esther, in her outlook, in her appearance, the king will be looking for someone that he can find honor. Someone that communicates to him. Someone that he can see security in. Someone by looking at her appearance the king will say i have found someone that after i fight wars and politics and all that when i come i have someone to comfort me i have someone that i can lean on i have someone i can trust i have someone that is smart in the head that i can engage in i can engage i can discuss i can have things this is critically important i have someone that honors me so in essence the esther must have you know appeared in a manner that the king will see a woman that is to give him what he is lacking naturally. And I tell you, may not necessarily be beautiful. We've shown that all the ladies were beautiful. May not also be someone who is good at bed because the king can have it all the time. I know we are any time he wants. So, what was the king looking for? You see, there's something about kings. Something about kings, you must understand. Every king wants to have a woman who still knows him. And respects him as a king. 
And that king must see it in that appearance of that lady and in their conversation. Very key. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, I can imagine. Most ladies have robbed themselves the opportunity of marrying by their first date, first meeting with a guy. Because they come there and at that moment, the person cannot connect with the picture in their mind. What they're looking for is not in you. They will not make quick decision. It will take them one year to begin to look around. Maybe at the end of no one, they could find. They say, let us settle with that. It's a marriage of management and you are not that one. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. It's important. You see, whenever the king wanted a lady, you must understand that a king will be looking for someone that in some, no, no, let me say it this way. Do you know that some people want to marry and they're looking for a woman that his seed, his generation, will produce smart, wonderful, well-reared up children? Do you really know that? Do you really know that? You see, when men want to marry, there's something they're looking for. In other words, when they see that in your appearance, they connect with it. And I say again, someone is coming for you. Remember again, as we wind up today, i like to share your thoughts. i like your comments. i like to hear your comments. Write to me in the place of comments. Comment on it. Tell me, share your thoughts with people. Write your comments. Other people will be reading it. Other people will hear what you think about. If you are going to meet someone one night, one date. I didn't say one night to sleep. One date. And that would determine how would you appear. Give me a clear description of how you're going to look. I want to see your insight into your person. Because it's important that you do. Write it. I'd like to hear what you wrote. I'd like to see what you wrote. This is how I'm going to look. This is how I'm going to put on. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to I want to see that. I just want to see that. Because it's going to give you insight even to yourself. And what probably would have been chasing men or would have been hindering them from coming and connecting to you. That is critically important and I'd like to share that thoughts with you. Now, sir, that's, that's one. i also like you to share the video. Get friends, call them, share. You would help someone to hear this. Maybe that's what is hindering that your elder sister, that your aunt not to get married. Because they have decided to go by the way of the married women. All her friends are unmarried. And every time she's following them to married people meeting staying in their company, dressing as well like them. And when they are doing one rapper, they do for her because she's their friend. She's on the wrong path. She's going to miss it because she's lonely. You know, I tell you, one lady told me one day, she had some guys who were friends and they would go out one time. All of the guys who went out have rings on their, in, on their hands. They are all married. She's only single lady. And she said to them, how can I be sitting out with you this, this night, drinking and having, you know, and uh, I'm not married. Does it mean that none of you have somebody you can introduce to me? That's what she told me. The first place is that she was hanging out with the wrong guys. That's the first thing. They are married. The person they will introduce to you, I have not seen you first. So that's good. They can introduce. But the point remains first. Because they think what they are seeing. Remember, someone has to see in order to propose. It is critically important. So again, let me know what your thoughts is on that very question. Describe to me. Fairly, give me. Yeah, you say it's essay. Yes, just describe to me how you are going to appear that fateful evening on that wonderful date. Share the video. Go ahead and share. Very, very important. Go ahead and share, share, share. Spread the good word. And don't forget to subscribe. It is important. Don't forget to subscribe and like it as well. It's important. This is wonderful. This is how you can help this broadcast to keep growing. Again, don't forget to share with me one more time how you will appear. You see, I will be part of the Ashebi group. I've always told you I want to be part of it. I like to come. I like to see. I like to watch your dancing steps. Some of you, you're not dancing. Most times, born against don't know how to dance. They don't know left nor right. This is a very terrible thing. Very, very terrible. You've got to start becoming alive. It's not, you see, you've got to develop your spirit. Don't be a misfit. In today's world is a very important thing you don't have to live yesterday in a today's world it's critically important become aware and be part of the moving world in a godly manner oh that's a wonderful time hope and hope and hope and hope i hear your wonderful thoughts and see you next time in our next episode bye for now
I had 10,000 tons, it still won't be enough. I can't live more.